Alright gamers, welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. We gotta find out some information on this hentai artist. What a crowd, I wonder what's going on. It feels a bit off, I guess. At least we can explore now. I've been wanting to, you know, look around and see what's going on here. Check out the shops. How's it going? Maybe not go for anything. Come I don't ahead. think we really uh, need to get anything right now. Maybe healing items? I think I may have used healing items. I actually don't remember. Now nah, we, we have some. I, I think we'll be okay. We do have some bond points. Let's see. Maybe we should spend some of that. There's this. Enables the creation of more food with stronger effects. But we can also get this. This probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea since uh, there was a chest that we had to miss in the first jail. Yeah, let's go for this. What else can we get here? Increased damage when performing a Persona Dash? Nah. What else we got? Increases chance to obtain items at end of battle. Increases money. The effects of healing items. Better deals at Sophia's shop. I mean, yeah. Th those, those are really nice things to have here. But this is also nice. That's, that's definitely a good thing. SP seems to be a huge thing here in this game. I could be wrong. I, I could be completely off here. What else we got? Trigger Harrison Recovery? What is that? I forget. We can't do anything more with that. Hmm. I guess we can go for this. Items are always good. Money is always good, too. I guess we can, uh... Yeah, we'll go for Sophia's Shop. A certain bond skill will enable time sales. Ah, nice. All right. Okay. Uh, so we got to look around for information regarding this uh, weirdo that we met in the last episode. He seems very awkward and very off-putting. I'm pretty sure he's our antagonist for this time around. I would be surprised if he wasn't. Now we just got to figure out where we can go. Who we can talk to. What information we can actually dig up. And it is nice to actually explore a whole new area, too. I'm, I'm really digging this. Looks like we can uh, get to the Velvet Room over here and talk to Ryuji. I don't think we need to go to the Velvet Room. I could be wrong. Check out those things hanging from the ceiling. They look like aliens. They are apparently called streamers. In Sendai, they're known for being topped with a large ball called a Kusudama. Now that I think about it, isn't Tanabata celebrated in July? Yes. It looks like Tanabata is observed using the old lunar calendar, so the festival is held a month later in August. Huh. I don't know if I follow you, but whatever. August rules. You got that right. Hm. How much PP do we have for Personas? Hm. Will this tell me? No? Dang it. I wanted to know how much Persona points we had. <laughs> I don't think there's a way to find out here, unless I'm blind, which is very likely. 100% likely. I think we're okay on Personas. I think I worked pretty well up on Personas before the boss fight. What the heck? This sucks. Oh, Walker, I was just wandering around the shopping area here. And now I've got sweets on the brain with all these dessert shops and food stands standing around. Or food stands around, I'm sorry. The temptation's the worst. I almost folded when I saw a place with Gutan ice cream that also sells chocolate bananas? That sounds awful. Alright, sorry about that. I should get back to asking around about Natsume. That's his name. Well, here's some, uh, oh, here, here's a, here's a woman. You want to know about Ango Natsume? Hmm. You and the rest of society, everyone's talking about him lately and it makes me sick. Pretentious pricks like that are always hiding something. I heard business has been good lately thanks to all that Natsume gift merch. People need to wake up. There are plenty of other good authors out there. That's a little bit of information. Not much, but it's something. Something is amiss. The general store over there is unusually packed with female customers. Perhaps it's just my imagination, but their eyes seem hollow. Wait, right here? Welcome. Ango Natsume? Of course I know him. 
He seems to like our products. A lot of his fans give them to him as a gift. They sell like hotcakes, I tell ya. And it's all thanks to Natsume. Haha. <laughs> but just between you and me, I'm honestly kind of worried about how much money the fans are spending on all this stuff. Mm. That's not unlike what was happening with Alice. She had fans pouring in abnormal amounts of money, too. Care to buy something? Well, Greetings. what do you got here? A charm and a patch. We get more SP with this one. We get more agility with this one. I think I'm okay. I'll pass for now. I might regret it later. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. It's very crowded here. I've been asking around the shops here. Apparently Sendai's in the middle of Natsume fever. Apparently it's even affecting some of the shop's staff. I overheard some complaints that it's getting bad for business. People no call, no showing, or even ditching their shifts part way through to go pick up more copies of Natsume's books. Or book. Could their hearts have been changed? Oh, I nearly forgot. When I told one of the local restaurant owners that I was on a trip with my friends, he gave me this. It's a hamburger from a local chain using only local ingredients. They said it's very good. There's a Big Bang Burger right there. I saw that. The store owners were really surprised to learn who Haru's family is. At first they were all stiff and nervous, but Haru's too warm for, every for anyone to keep that up long. She had him singing in no time. It was crazy seeing how people treat the upper crust, let alone Haru's ability to get him to shop. She is so amazing. Anything going on over here? Oh, look at this. Bookworm deleted her social media account. Isn't Bookworm that author you really like? She's been putting out quite a lot of work lately. Maybe she got depressed. Her last post did mention how she's tired of trying to make her voice heard in a vacuum. Do you think Ango Natsume is the cause? Have you read Ango's book? The story and the dialogue is so similar to what Bookworm would do. Hey, be careful. We're talking about Sogo Natsume's grandson here. He'll get flamed if you talk about him carelessly. Hey. Did you hear that? She seems suspicious of Ango Natsume stealing other people's work. I wonder if it's true or just some rumor. Okay, well, we've almost got all the information we need. We've what we got, got here? What you need. Oh, ingredients. But, like, what would benefit us? I mean, rice is always that. good. We'll get two we rice. We we'll get that. two carrot. We all that. And we'll get so two pork. Thank you very Thank I hope you. I can make something with that. I also don't know if I needed to, you know, mm -hmm. buy ingredients. I'm sure we could have gotten this somewhere. We'll get some soda. Because SP is SP. And that seems to be harder to deal with. Yaki Soba. Oh wait, that's 20 SP or HP to everybody. I'll buy three of that. Okay, no more buying things. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Anybody else that I can talk to? Doesn't look like it here. There's the crowd of people there. Uh, that's just a pineapple shop. Nothing out of the ordinary there. I think that might be all in this general vicinity. I guess we gotta go look elsewhere. We're almost done. There's not too much more information to get here. Are you from out of town? You can make a wish on a Tanzaku over here if you like. Can you wish so that things will work out between me and Lady An? Well, can I, can I not make the wish? So everyone writes their wish on that piece of paper. It must be hard for the person who's asked to make the wishes come true. C can I... I want to make the wish. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I can't. I, I really wanted to. That would have been cool. Can we go down here? Nope. Over here? Let's head back. Nope. Uh, well, I think I saw another area that we can go to. I don't know if it will lead back to where we were yesterday. There's some... Oh, there's some grumbling going on over here. What's going on over here? Hmm? Why? Why do this to me, my honey pie? We swore our love to each other here. You told me how special I was to you, so what? Who's this person talking to? 
What did I do wrong? Bro. What are you doing? Why are you just standing here? That's kind of weird. I'm actually very concerned. What is that guy doing? Let's go back. Alrighty. Well, I guess nothing's going on over here. I don't know what that guy's problem is. That sort of seemed like something important, but I guess not. There's some stairs over here, so maybe we can go downward? Uh, there's some grumbling over here. I actually don't think I listen to these people. Hmm? Or this person. I need to buy every last one, then maybe Ongo will finally notice me. If I don't hurry, I'll miss his book signing. What did you say? Natsume is doing a book signing? Search complete. Natsume will be holding a book signing nearby, and it's happening very soon. Really? Is that why they're all here? The bookstore is in a mall named Porto, and the event starts in one hour. I see. Alright, Akira, let's come back here when we're done collecting rumors. Well, Morgana, we're, we're done collecting rumors. All right. We've got plenty of intel now. I'd say it's safe to call it quits. Remember Natsume's autograph session will be, uh, we heard about this is our chance to see him in person. Let's do some first party reconnaissance. Leave it to me. We're getting everyone together? Okay, I'll contact them for you. Thanks, Sophia. We should get over there ourselves. Where are we going? Oh, okay. Sounds good. That smug bastard's being promoted all over the place. Like I'm going insane. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. It is. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Oh yeah, this is very similar to that whole Alice situation. Um, Natsume-san, I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Excuse me? Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, and some to... My goodness! Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. The book signing concluded, and Natsume and his fans left. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. Well, there's only one way to find out. We have to get into a boss battle so that we can get all that plot development going on while we're fighting. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a keyword. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Nari, what's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Hey, Nari? You actually bought that thing? Why, are you a fan? Can I read it when you're done? Yes, I suppose that's fine. I was just curious as to whether or not the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? Hmm. How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but... I feel nothing when 
reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Oh, that rumor that we heard might actually be true. Let me see. from an anime from two years ago. The words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before too. And this one. Sheesh, this one too. Wait, is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? If the original writers or worse, their fans ever saw this, there'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is. Unless the fans had their desires stolen. It's the power to change hearts. There's no mistaking it, yeah. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? <sighs> if this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. I gotta remember his name, because I keep forgetting it. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? For money, for fame? I have no clue. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna be honest. In all honesty, I'm not sure myself. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. Okay. Are we gonna wait for him? I guess we are. See what information we can get here. If anything. Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... <laughs> I smelled it. Hmm. You smelled it? Anyways. Have you learned anything new? Ah, uh, yes. Ango Natsume. Right? Yeah. He's suspicious, all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, Everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Okay, so what we gotta do is get somebody from this group, probably a female, probably Haru, to go in, get into that fan club, and boom, we're good. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi. But I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. In that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? She's talking about Haru. Yeah, get get with the program, buddy. My name is Beauty Thief. I see. She's really calling herself that? Getting back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares, passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... <laughs> oh, we're going partying. We're crashing a party? Oh, yeah. Hey, that sounds fun as hell. Don't you think? This is our chance. I don't have, any, I don't have anything to wear. Uh, let's, let's ask the big question here. 
wouldn't you like to know? Better to keep you in the dark. But let's just say, I know a guy. So what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. These guys are all mean. I knew we could count on you, Gramps, son. Oh my god. Oh, guys, at least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Even getting called Gramps by her. Incredible. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Wow, do we stand out. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done. Considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> the praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. Okay, so I think I think him being the grandson of somebody so renowned is maybe putting pressure on him. That might have something to do with My this. Talent say <laughs> well now i wouldn't go as far as to say that the words on the page matter little if there's something worth talking about the people will always flock to it from there all one needs to do is craft a little story into it and voila for example take that origin story about how i started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital pardon my asking but is that story really true, Mr. <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth, fiction. Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadarame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Ah, yes, that's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. <sighs> Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? Somebody that doesn't understand art? <sighs> or anything? Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm alright. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd, so there's a good chance he won't recognize me. We'll leave it to you. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck! Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? <laughs> uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey, Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <sighs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. All right. Okay, okay, buddy. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense. Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma Natsume-san? Of course. With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Thank well, you that was easy. Much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. 
Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. God damn. <laughs> hey, you can't. I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. He's just, he's gonna watch us. We've got what we came he, for. He watched Let's Yusuke outside, walk yes. back over to the group. He knows now. So must drivel. That little bastard. What the hell does he know? It's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Well, we'll see about that one. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. No, I respect you more, I Yusuke. I suppose I still have much to learn. No, no, you're good. Dude, don't sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keywords, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all loved seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry. Just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. Nice. Gameplay. That will actually exist hey, in this playthrough. There's something I wanted to ask you. Yusuke might have been acting calm just now. But he seemed rather sad. Why was that? I think he was shocked. He probably felt insulted because he's an artist too, yeah. Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. It's possible. It depends on the person. I will just say it's possible. It's not really on the person. Least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank you for explaining that to me. Now give me bond points. I went back to the RV and got some rest. Nice. We actually did get bond points. I wasn't expecting I've that. I've been waiting for you. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power... It seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Increases damage for physical persona skills. And magical skills. Oh, well, I don't use too much of that. I should probably use the buffs, debuffs, the other shit a little bit more often. Okay, I get the idea. Thank you. Okay, nice. Getting getting more stuff unlocked that we can utilize. <laughs> so tired. Snap out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. I know, I know. I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep. What, you think it's Christmas morning or something? Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, 
I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. Well, it's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Let's go. Time to get to work. We'll save the city. Yeah. Go big or go home. Right. It's nerf or nothing. God bless America. And good night, moon. Hey. So we've got ourselves a mobile hideout. Pretty convenient. And I've got to say, it does make the Phantom Thieves even cooler. Once you think everyone's good and ready, let's meet at the hideout and infiltrate the jail. And we're counting on you, Akira. And we'll do that in the next episode, because goddamn, it is really hard for me to sit here and play this game for long periods of time. But I think I'll be able to do a little bit more than usual next time, now that we're actually going to be playing the game. Plus, I played this during the day, and it's really hot, so... Don't really want to be sitting here more than I have to. So, we'll uh, talk with people, make sure that we're good to go for an infiltration, and begin the second jail. I hope to see you guys then. Thank you for watching this episode. Y'all have a good one. Take it easy.